got it. Yeah. Got it. All right. 100 yards, 12 inch plate. That's two. Guys, we can literally do this all day. I don't know why this is so much fun for me. Whoa! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guns and Guitars. And today we are having tons of fun at the range as always. And we are shooting this ugly beast right here. This is the Taurus Judge. It's got the six and a half inch barrel, three inch magnum chamber. Of course, you guys know, if you know anything about the Taurus Judge, you know that it shoots shotgun shells as well as 45 long colts. So super cool gun. Why would you want a gun like this? I have no freaking clue. Let's find out. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. Let's get started. If you guys are wondering why I've been posting so many gun videos lately, it's because I'm about to leave Arizona and I'm gonna be in California for a while. So I'm trying to get this all done and filmed and uploaded before I won't be able to do that for a while. So why would you want a stupid looking gun like this? Well, firstly, it is just a whole lot of fun. I mean, I, I find myself, I come out to the range to test different nice. types of loads through here. And just about 100% of the time, I end up just it. throwing out clays and busting them midair because it is so much freaking fun. So I don't know how many clays I've busted at this Got point. It. I can do singles, I've done doubles, I've not successfully done triples. Maybe I'll hit those today. But I've been out to the range with this thing maybe five or six times. And each time I end up leaving the range going, what a freaking fun gun to shoot, okay? Now, the reason why I originally got it, if you guys don't know and you haven't been following my channel, you might not know that I recently sold my home and everything in it, bought an RV, I'm gonna homeschool my kids and just travel the US. And I thought that this would make the perfect RV defense gun as well as the perfect sort of backpacking hiking protection gun because you can do progressive loads. You can start out with 410 birdshot, then step it up to you know, 410 Magnum Buckshot. And then you could do Magnum Slugs. And then you could do something like the uh, PDX Defender Loads that have, you know, a bunch of different types of stuff loaded in the shell. And then finally end with, you know, a 45 Long Colt or something. So you're pretty much just protecting yourself from lots of various incidences, you know very common to come across a snake when you're out hiking or backpacking and so you know having that first shot of bird shot you know great snake weapon if you inquire a different critter that's a little bit larger you know each shot you're progressively stepping up to a larger harder hitting round you know especially if you come across those two-legged varmints that um, can really be pesky especially loaded with bird shot they're great for being really productive from you know here to here but beyond that it kind of loses so much velocity that it's actually really safe. So if you're thinking like the close quarters of an RV, you know, you got really tight hallways. And um, so if you encounter someone, it's gonna be, you know, from here to here. And if, you know, you go beyond that and it ends up hitting a wall with, you know, where your kids or your wife might be sleeping or hiding, you have more of a chance of not over penetrating, right? So, that's what I had in mind with this. It also, I mean, look at this thing, would make an excellent melee weapon. Again, for close quarters combat, okay? If someone's here to here, rather than trying to line up a shot in close quarters and, you know, give them something to grab onto, it's way better to use this, you know, as a melee weapon, and then you can kind of create some distance, line up your shot if you so need to. But you guys know that the first rule of gunfight is that you're not in a gunfight, you're in a fight. And the objective is to win the fight, okay? In a gunfight, people think the objective is to shoot the other guy, that's not the case, okay? The objective is always win the fight. So, having a cool melee weapon that can really reach out there, give you a little extra length, um, this thing would be awesome for that. Now there is one downside to owning this weapon for a full-time RV or full-time traveling lifestyle. And I didn't realize it when I purchased this gun. Now, I wanna thank J&G Sales. They always lend me firearms like this for review, but I had so much fun with this one that I already went back and bought it. So I own this one, but thank you J&G for offering it to me for review. But I found out after I bought it that this is not California legal. 
According to California legislation, this is considered a short-barreled shotgun because they have different legislation than the rest of the United States. They just make up their own rules over there. It's a little bit frustrating, but I actually can't take this with me to California. Well, guess where I'm going next month? California. So I'm gonna have to leave this one in Arizona. I'm gonna do just a real quick test for you. I, might, I would call it the eggplant test, okay? If you wanna see, you know, the penetration power of this thing. There's lots of people doing, you know, penetration tests through ballistics gel and stuff like that. It's all boring. So we're just gonna blow up some eggplants with different types of ammo and we're just gonna see what happens. All right, so here's our first eggplant. And again, this isn't any scientific penetration test. We're just gonna be blowing stuff up. So I'm just doing the range that I would expect to try to neutralize the threat with this thing. So this is a 410 birdshot. This is what I would use probably for, uh, to neutralize a snake on a hike. So distance from here to there, sounds about right. Okay, let's see what happens. So as you can see, this thing didn't really explode. I didn't really expect it to. I mean, there's not a whole lot of velocity of a 410 shell out of a six inch barrel, especially a rifled barrel. It's not gonna pattern very well either, as you can see. So it just kind of scraped it. Some of it went in. It looks like most of it kind of came out. It didn't explode, but if that were a snake, it'd definitely be dead. So. This, you can see how this would definitely work for an application like that. All right, so this is going to be Federal Premium 410 handgun. This is Buckshot and it's designed specifically for handguns. So, namely the Taurus Judge or the Smith & Wesson Governor. So, we'll see what this does to an eggplant. As you can see, that was a bit more devastating, okay? That's the entrance wound, that's the exit wound. I, would, I still wouldn't say that it exploded, but you know, if you were shooting at something a little bit bigger than a snake, that would probably get the job done. Or, you know, if you didn't get the job done with the snake the first time. So this is Remington Ultimate Home Defense, and this is Buckshot again. Again, four pellets, triple out buck, just like the last one. But it's about 400 feet per second faster, so this is 1225 velocity. Whoa! Here was the Federal handgun, and here was the Remington HD Defense. Uh, the whole bottom part, I think, is liquefied. I can't find the rest of it. So, uh, clearly, this thing, a little bit more power behind it. Now, something to keep in mind, more power isn't always good, okay? Like I was talking about, you're defending the walls of your RV, they're pretty much paper thin. Something like this might be better because it's probably not gonna over-penetrate as much as something like this. However, if you need the power, that was a pretty good shot. <laughs> that was a pretty good load. All right, so this here is the Winchester Super X, uh, rifled, Hollow point slug, 1800 feet per second velocity, quarter ounce slug, so. Ha ha ha! Whoa! It came back, I had a little bit of a splash back on that one. Well, not only did it destroy this, but I think it also cooked it up for dinner. All right, so now this is a 45 long colt, just uh, Fakashi, Fakoshi, however you pronounce it, some cowboy loads. Um, so nothing overly powerful, just your typical 45 long colt round. Well, you can definitely tell the difference between a shotgun load and a regular bullet because, you know, there's the entrance hole, there's the exit hole. Still intact? Mmm. Raw eggplant. Who doesn't love raw eggplant? <coughs> Gosh, that's awful. All right, last but certainly not least, the one that I'm most excited about, this is the Winchester PDX-1 Defender Load. If you guys don't know what this is, it shoots out some plated disc projectiles followed by some birdshot. Uh, 750 velocity, 410 gauge. Uh, this is the two and a half inch. They do make a three inch Magnum version. I just couldn't find it on the shelves of any of my gun shops. So we're trying out this one. Now let's see what it does to an eggplant. <laughs> so you can see here just multiple points of penetration. The majority of those discs, I think, just sawed it in half. But you can see definitely one hit down here, one hit up here. So, man, what a great little self-defense load. I think at a, at a self-defense range with a gun like this, I mean, it would definitely have tons of knockdown power. Super cool gun. I know Taurus doesn't have a reputation for being super reliable. I definitely got a good one. Like I said, I went back and bought it, so I own this one, and I love it. It's super cool, and I sure haven't cleaned it. I mean, look how dirty it is. I mean, shotgun rounds are not clean, and I don't know how many rounds I have in this thing. 
Um, it's a lot and I haven't cleaned it and it's still running great. I probably should take better care of my firearms. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of the, what I feel like are the most fun handguns or rifles that you can own, check out this playlist right up there. And I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. I will see you in that next video. Oh yeah, I was out. I need to count. It's very important when shooting this gun that you know how to count to five.